This is an Anona, uh, likely hybrid tree, or at least it was described to me as being a hybrid. Um, and one of the parents uh, is, they're pretty certain, is Glabra, which is the um, pond apple, which is a native to Florida and uh, not a terribly desirable uh, tree. And I'm just showing off some of the little fruit that are coming out here, but this is what they're calling an edible pond apple. Uh, whatever the other parent was has improved the quality of the uh, of the fruit because the pond apple itself is it smells nice but it tastes uh, uh, pretty pretty disgusting from what I've been told I've I've learned from just listening to people and I've not tried to eat it um, but anyway just a quick video because it does show off a lot of the Anona features and it doesn't look a lot like the pond apple per se the according to Hoyle pond apple, the Anona glabra. So anyway, I just thought it'd be worth a few seconds of video. And it also has fruit on it, which is always something that amuses me. Uh, there was another one that I showed a second ago. Uh, there it is. And it has that classic sort of early post-flowering infructescence going for itself there. So I'll get back a little bit. It's kind of tall. It's probably about 20, maybe 15 feet overall. So once again, this is an Anona species, uh, likely hybrid, and uh, one of the parents is Glabra. Here's a look at the fruit on that edible Anona, or the hybrid. It's got quite a bit of fruit on it this year. And they do look a lot like the, the Glabra, so typical pond apple. Got that high shoulder on it. So I just wanted to give a quick shot of the uh, the fruit as it's coming on.